Hi. Just thought I'd show you the process of home charging in my Tesla Model 3 standard standard range. It's charging at the moment at about uh, 7 kilowatts. It's on a 7 kilowatt charger. And as you can see on the screen, it's charging at 32 miles an hour. It's added 101 miles since it's been charging. And it's got two and a half hours left. And it's got 136 miles of range in it now. Um, certain things if uh, to have in mind. If you... Uh, if you had your car plugged in at a similar size charger uh, on the road, which there are some 7 kilowatt chargers on the road, and you sat in your car while it was charging, and I thought it was getting a bit chilly, and you turn the heater on, uh, bear in mind all these figures. And you thought, oh, I'll turn the heated seat on. As you can see, the, uh, the figures are changing. I'll go for full crazy. I'll turn everything on. Dunk, 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 dunk. Time remaining over 24 hours. Of course, this is me messing about really because what's, what's the car doing? It needs more power to run the parts I've turned on than the actual home charger is supplying. Um, so, you wouldn't realistically do this, but it just shows you how much power the car uses when, um, when the heater seats are on and the heater's on and the front and rear windscreen defrosters are on. I mean, it would constantly be like this because as soon as it gets up to temperature, it, the um, heating turns itself down and backs off a bit until it gets up to the, um, the, the temperature you set it at. So I'll turn it all off and you'll see all the figures go backwards. going back to normality. Yeah, if you were charging a supercharger and you sat with the heater on, it's really neither here nor there because a supercharger is such a huge amount of power it puts into the car, it won't really make a lot of difference. But if you're on a slow charger, and um, it's a cold day and you're waiting for it to charge and you're sitting in the car, <laughs> you could outrun the charger, you could, <laughs> which would be rather amusing. You could actually be there forever <laughs> because the, um, the charger wouldn't actually keep up with the car's um, usage of power. It takes quite a bit of power. So it's just, um, just by the by, I just thought I'd show you that. One thing that's handy in the UK, we have 240 volts, well, it's 232. We've got, that's our voltage, um, the UK standard voltage, which is quite handy because I know in the USA it's 110 volts, which means charging t on the home, s home system takes longer in America. So my little demonstration would would be even worse in America. But there you are, so it's got 2 hours 25 minutes left, it's got 138 miles on it, it's charging at 32 miles an hour, and all is well. Charging at home is no big deal, because normally you're asleep when it's charging, so it's fine. And if you're, if you're charging off peak, it's really cheap, and if you're charging on, on peak, it's still really, really cheap. 
I mean, this car does about the equivalent of 200 miles per gallon, if you're talking in fossil terms. So it's, um, it's never dear. But if you had um, special off-peak um, charging rates, which are available, it's even cheaper. So it's always a bargain. And um, I'm so glad to have it back. Right, I think that's all for now. Just thought I mention the uh, mention these details. So beware, don't charge a weedy wally charger on the road with everything on, or you're not going to charge a car up at all. Just a thought, but um, yeah, goodbye for now.